I've got to say, guys, it is super nice once in a while to get a product in for you guys to, to, to test for you guys and to be impressed by it. That doesn't happen very often. A lot of times the, the latest, greatest stuff really is just kind of a lot of flash and bang and not a ton of, of actual substance. Well, I am pleased to, uh, to, to say that this review is not going to be one of those. This is an ammunition that has really, really impressed me. So much so that I'm really seriously considering it as a carry load. And that says a lot because not only do I test the, the ammunition myself that I carry, uh, but I also um, look at other things such as like other people's research, other people's results, other people's data, as well as kind of like the long-term you know, look at a product. Uh, that's why I carry the Spear Gold Dot, why I carry the HST, why I carry the Critical Duty and the Critical Defense. Those are a lot of my go-to ammunitions. And... I am really seriously uh, kind of fast tracking this LTEC ammunition uh, to to be included in that list because of how impressed I am with the results of, of the ballistics test that we did. Uh, so we're going to go through and we're going to kind of uh, go through and talk about this ammunition. This is actually going to be two reviews in one because LTEC Ammo, okay, not, they, they have produced this, which is their full stop 124 grain all copper uh, hollow point. You can see... Hopefully you guys can see that. See how there's uh, there's some cuts for the pedals. This is like a pre-cut um, hollow point, similar to like what the HST is, where where the uh, the jacket is actually scored or cut uh, to actually expand reliably. And they house it in this case, which you guys can see that it's very very different looking. This is Shell so Shell Shock Technologies NAS three case. Okay, and we're going to go on through and talk about some of the cool um, innovations that that come from this case. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely looks different than what you guys are used to. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. So we're not only going to review the bullet, but we're going to review the casing as well. So it's two different companies, uh, two different uh, reviews, but we're going to meld them in with one. So we did the ballistics test. First off, we'll just start talking about the bullet. We did the ballistics test through three different firearms. We did we shot it out of the CZ pistol, which is a 7.72 inch barrel. And then we shot it out of the Glock 19, which is a 4 inch barrel. And then the shield, which I believe is a 3.5 inch barrel. I haven't actually tested that, but I think it's a 3.5 inch barrel. So we got three different velocities and we shot each one of these rounds into the ballistics gel. Let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, look at those shots and we'll come back and we'll show you the results. I'm gonna shoot lower right corner here. Okay, here we go. Okay, with it turned to the side, I want you guys to check this out. Look at the stinking wound channels on that, man. Not huge, huge cavitation, but you can see where the petals have actually cut through that gel like crazy. I know the glare's bad right here, but... And I can't believe that out of three different barrel lengths, that's what we're getting. Three different barrel lengths. Look at that. Look how consistent that is. Man, that's crazy. And every one of those wound channels looks almost identical. I'm, I'm really impressed. Honestly. I'm honestly super impressed. That's cool, man. So what has really fast-tracked this ammunition for me is how consistent this round performed out of three different barrel lengths, okay? Even, even withstanding the fact that there's a 184 foot per second difference between the CZ and the shield, they penetrated the exact same depth, which is pretty much 11.75, give or take like a tenth of an inch, okay? Literally, it's that close. So they all performed um, 11 inches and 11.75 inches in, in depth. Now, I know there's going to be some of you guys that are saying, well, that doesn't reach the FBI minimum standard of, of 12 inches. Yes, that's true. It did, it did miss the, the FBI standard uh, penetration depth of 12 inches by a quarter of an inch. However, 
it, I think that that shortcoming is overshadowed by the the consistent performance that we're seeing with this round. I mean, it's 184 foot per second difference, and we and we penetrated exactly the same depth. How that happened, okay? Some of you guys are scratching your head. Well, what happened with the extra energy? Well, what it did, okay, is the round out of the shield, and I'll roll in high res footage so you guys can see this. The the round out of the shield, uh, pen or. Uh, the round out of the shield expanded to 0.641 inches. Okay, that's pretty impressive expansion out of a 9mm. Now, the, the round out of the Glock 19 expanded to 0 0.706 inches. And the diameter of the CZ round came out at 0 0.728. So we have a difference. We have greater expansion the faster the round uh, hit the gel. Now, what's cool about that is the energy that that was picked up by the the uh, the longer barrel length went into expanding the round uh, at a greater diameter and penetrated exactly the same with all three rounds. And I've never seen that. Okay, I've never seen a round perform that consistently out of three different firearms inside of inside of one block of gel. I've never seen that before. And not only that guys, but if you look at the wound tracks that this round made, these three petals of copper going right through that, that gel block made it a very impressive wound channel. I mean you have these jagged, three jagged uh, spiral cuts all the way through the gel and that was just impressive. I mean you take for instance like a, a spear gold dot and the spear gold dot it mushrooms out, but it doesn't really have the sharp edges that like this LTEC uh, full stop does. And so you're getting this, this, this massive cutting ability that the LTEC ammo offers. And I think that that is definitely worth the a little bit under penetration that I saw with the round. What we're going to do is we're going to do a breakdown of one of these rounds. I've got some fired casings, but I figured I'd just go ahead and do a breakdown of the actual rounds. We're going to load it up into my kinetic hammer right here okay we're going to break this apart and we'll show you all of its individual components yeah okay then we're going to load it up into our hammer and give it a couple good wax on the concrete here okay all right set that off the side all right so first off let's go ahead and take a look at the casing okay so this is shell shock technologies nas3 case there are some really really cool aspects to this case there's a list of some of the benefits that you get uh, from this particular case let me show you guys a head stamp here real quick Okay, so here is the benefits that we get from the case, okay? The case is made up, the upper part of the case is made up of a steel nickel alloy, okay? And the bottom part, or the, the head of the case, okay, the base of the case here, is made up of aluminum. So we have an aluminum base, and we have a uh, kind of like a nickel steel alloy um, up that makes up the body of the case. Now, what's cool about that is not only is this case stronger than brass, okay, it's more tensile strength, but it actually is lighter, by 50% lighter. So when it comes to, especially like your double stack uh, firearms, you know, when you can get like 15 rounds in a magazine, that's going to make up, a, a, you know, a bit of a difference in your overall weight, especially for a carry gun, that's huge. The, uh, the NAS3 case is actually also more corrosion resistant than brass. You're able to reload it and it can actually be reloaded many more times than most of your typical brass cases. It can handle plus P plus loads. And what's really cool is if you, I don't know if you guys can see inside of there uh, well enough, but the case, the, the base or the bottom of the case is actually flat. It's, it's not tapered like a lot of your, your brass cases are. And so it actually has 2% higher internal case volume than that of a brass case. It's also, being that it's steel on the sides, it's magnetic, so it's faster cleanup at the range, and again, this is reloadable, so you can reload this case. And I, I believe they sell specific uh, dies that you can actually get to reload this. 
And one of the other really cool benefits that you get from this NAS3 case is that nickel alloy steel is actually self-lubricating. You know, a lot of your self-defense rounds are nickel plated and that nickel plating can actually uh, break off and it can actually foul your gun. And I've actually seen uh, nickel, nickel plating uh, cause issues in guns. And so having this self-lubricating side, it's actually more uh, lubricating than steel and more than your brass. And so you should have more reliable function with that. Another really cool aspect to this is the fact that this aluminum uh, base, okay, of the case can actually be anodized different colors. And Shell Shock, Shell Shock Technologies will be bringing forward uh, different colored uh, cases. So you can use it for identification of load, things like that. So that's a really, really cool feature that that, uh, that this round offers. Okay, so the case weight on this one is 63.8, okay, versus 33.3. 33.3 versus 64.1 grains, okay? That's a significant difference in weight. And really when it comes right down to it, if you guys are concealed carrying a Glock 19 and you've got 16 rounds in that in that gun, having the the weight of that case cut in half makes a huge difference in, in your actual carry weight overall. So that's really, really nice. All right, so now out of the, uh, the bull, let's go ahead and show you the actual unfired full stop nine millimeter. This is a all copper, hollow point made by LTech Ammo. And there again, guys, you can see that, whoop, there again, guys, you can see the cuts in the actual uh, hollow point there that aids in the expansion of the round. Okay, and there you guys can see the base. Again, it's all copper, and that's pretty dang cool, actually. Let's go ahead and give you a weight on that one. My scale keeps shutting off on me. So 124.5 is the the start weight that we got on this. Now, the retained uh, the retained weight that we got on the the rounds is we've got 124.5, 124.5, and 124.7. That is including the denim plug that is in the top of the round. I just figured I'd leave that in because I think it's pretty dang cool to to see how much denim was actually pulled into the gel with the actual round itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you guys a shot of the powder here. It's a fine flaky powder. All right, so the powder weighs five grains. Okay, so we have a light flake uh, powder, five grains of it in the, in the actual casing itself. All right, guys, so my final thoughts on the LTech ammo with their full stop bullet using the Shell Shock Technologies uh, NAS3 case. Guys, I like I said, it is nice to be impressed once in a while by a new product. Something that's actually bringing innovation into the market. I think that this ammo is definitely a win. I'm putting my stamp of approval on it. Um, and again, I'm probably gonna end up fast tracking this ammo um, into my carry loads for my nine millimeters. Now, that's gonna be predicated on, on uh, overall reliability in my particular firearm. And I always recommend, guys, that that uh, whatever, whatever round you choose uh, for your carry load that you put quite a bit of that through your firearm to make sure that your, that your gun likes it and that it's reliable with it. Because uh, the last thing you want is you want a malfunction due to ammunition that has been under tested in that particular firearm. But the company did let me know that this case is supposedly cheaper to produce than like steel case as well as as, as brass case. So we should see um, some pretty good prices on uh, these cases here in the future. Really guys, keep your eyes out for the shell check, the shell, <laughs> for the Shell Shock Technologies NAS3 case. And definitely guys, take a look at LTEC Ammo. I really, really think that you'll, that you'll be uh, served really well by it. But uh, this, this tech, guys, is definitely here to stay. I think that, it's, that it's real, they're really onto something here. And um, I'm glad that I was g given the opportunity to test it for you. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments about anything you see in the video, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit me up, guys, on Instagram. For those of you guys that are on Instagram, you've already seen the results of this test uh, like a week ago or two weeks ago before uh, this video came out. So, so, so definitely guys hit me up on Instagram at DocTacDad. There's a link down in the description box down below. You guys can go hit me up there. 
I really, really appreciate you guys liking, subscribing, and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. And as always, guys, thanks very, very much for watching, and we'll catch you guys next video. See ya.